All right, we made it finally out here in Utah. We got Tim Watson over here, Josh Ebersall, and we have Devin and Will. What's your guys' YouTube channels? Uh, Wasatch Will. Devin? And Backcountry Exposure. And you guys, you guys know Tim and Josh, so we'll just leave that up to <laughs> you guys to find it. <laughs> So we stopped for a quick break. We've been uh, hiking now for, I don't know, maybe two hours, probably two, three miles in, just uh, stopping and get some water, some quick snacks, and uh, rest up a little bit. It's been pretty smooth sailing up to here, but I do have a battle wound on my shin. I ran my leg into a piece of wood laying across the trail, and it's bleeding all over the place. But whatever. So we're on our uh, final push to find a campsite. And I think we're in between Pinto Lake and Governor Dern. Um, I think we're all a little worn out. It's been a long day, especially for uh, Tim and Josh and myself. We left, we left Finley about 3 a.m., had a long flight out here, then drove to the trailhead. So it's actually about 9 p.m. our time. But uh, yeah, we're pushing, find a campsite, and we're all ready to get set up, get some food, and go to sleep. So I'll talk to you guys when we get to camp. All right, guys, so we made it to camp. Got all set up. I'm not really going to talk about my setup because you guys have seen that over and over. But I am going to show you everybody else's setup. We got Tim, and Tim is using the Dream Hammock with the... Uh, War bonnet tarp, the mini fly, right? Yep. And new quilt today, right? New quilt slash blanket, yeah. It's the mass drop pine down blanket. Very cool. We're 40 degrees. And we got Josh Ebersall over here sleeping in this uh, beautiful looking tarp tent here. This is the, which one? Rain Shadow 3. We got Devin. Devin, what are you using over here? I'm rocking the Xped Mira One. And Very sweet. Yeah. What a uh, quilt? Uh, I have my hammock gear, Burrow Econ, and my Big Agnes Axle insulated. Very nice. So, two guys ground dwelling tonight, and over here we got Will. And he's also using a hammock. What are you using, Will? More bonnet. Blackbird. And the tarp? And going on, setting up porch mode. Yep. What uh, uh, tarp is that? It's a Pariah Product Sanctuary Sil Tarp. Pariah? Yep, Pariah. Yeah, 8 by 11 uh, hex cut. So. Sweet. What kind of quilt? I'm actually just using a, a 20 degree sleeping bag. It's a down bag from Teton Sports, so. Awesome. They, they call it their Altos. All right, guys, so we're gonna get some food here soon, put on some warm, dry clothes, 
and we're all probably going to be asleep <laughs> real quick. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's the morning of uh, day two, getting packed up, and uh, we're going to be hitting the trail here in a little bit. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. But as you can see, I'm about halfway tore down there, and everybody's just kind of eating breakfast and uh, packing up, and then we're going to be getting ready to hit the trail. All right, back on the trail. Nice day out. Sun's out. Feels great. How do you feel, Tim? Pretty good. Sun's out, gun's out, kind of. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. I, just, I don't watch TV. I can watch The Office every single day for the rest of my life. Oh, yeah. My life would be awesome. I just do some stuff. Lakes of the Four Lake Basin. Very pretty out here. Got the range in the background. The lake's beautiful. Uh, we just stopped. We're taking a break for about 10 minutes. Perfect spot to uh, stop, take the packs off, grab a quick snack before we head around the range back there, and then we're going to head over Rocky Sea Pass. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm looking at here right now. Check this out. Absolutely beautiful something really like powerful about all right so we uh met these guys out here while we were taking a break we got uh we got clay and chad and clay has a uh, youtube channel so i'm gonna let him tell you about um himself and his channel a little bit so i have clay on the trail and i live like 15 minutes from the uns so i started in the winter time i was snowshoeing all all early spring um, and then I just do overnighters. I've gotten into fishing and I pack. I do goat packing. I do any way to get in the mountains. So if you're interested in that, check me out. Sweet. Check him out, guys. So beautiful. Very cool stuff right here. So remember, guys. When you think it's all fun and games out here in the mountains, it's not always like this. Sometimes we got to hike through lots of stuff that you don't want to hike through. Big boulder fields like this, sometimes it's a lot of work, but it's always well worth it. All right, here's the third lake of the Four Lake Basin. This one is really cool. Had to kind of hike up through a boulder field to get here. But this runs right up to the base of the mountain. So cool. <laughs> Absolutely amazing out here. Will, what do you think? I like it. Beautiful day to be in the mountains, huh? It's only going to keep getting better. You got that right. We just came around from the uh, third lake and the fourth lake. We we're actually kind of bypassing, but you can see it. It's kind of out in there, be, behind the other lake, and that is called Dean Lake. It's cool to see the wildflowers. Right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Stopped here in this meadow to take a break and eat some lunch um, before we head up Rocky Sea Pass. So we're just chilling out right now. Might be a storm rolling in. How's everybody feeling? Good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Starting to climb up Rocky Sea Pass. Shouldn't be too bad. No problem, Josh.
Rocky Sea Pass, baby. 11,700 feet. This is freaking awesome. Holy crap. Oh, this is so cool. Check this out. That is freaking sick, and that is why we climb up these mountains, to see epic views like that. Man, so cool. All right, guys, so obviously I'm up here, and uh, I'm the first one up here. Just going to wait on the rest of the crew to get here. I'm probably 5, 10 minutes ahead of them. So I'm just going to hang out up here, take a little break, wait on the other guys, and then we'll start our climb down. made it down over the other side of the pass. Um, Devin and myself are just uh, waiting on the other guys to get down and then we're gonna find a place to uh, set up camp. Give you guys an idea of kind of what we just came down. You see the guys way back in there. Came from all the way up there. And yes, there's some cold wind coming through. <laughs> Maybe a storm. Storm and norm. We found camp. Um, not quite the camp we were hoping for, but it's gonna work. We got Will over here in his hammock. Sorry. Devin's back there the in the tent. And so here's what happened. Um, not enough spots for three hammocks, so. Um, Tim, Josh Ebersall, and myself are all going to sleep in the tarp tent. Should be a great night. <laughs> We're going to be cuddle buddies tonight. Oh, boy. oh yes. <laughs> Josh Ebersall, yep. what are you having tonight? Uh, I'm having chili mac beef. Tim Watson? Peanut butter and Mountain House biscuits and gravy. Devin, what Same. about you? <laughs> it's a mountain house party up in here. I know. <laughs> Will, what are you having? Spaghetti with vegetables. Awesome. We got a uh, little makeshift shelter back there. We threw up my tarp <laughs> just in case it was raining. Somewhere to throw our packs during the night. Stay dry if need to be. All right, good morning, guys. It's the morning of day three. It's kind of cold out this morning. It's 40 degrees. I didn't sleep at all last night. The three guys in one tarp tent didn't work out so well for me. My top quilt soaked from all the condensation. So I was freezing during the night. It's kind of a rough night, but I'm gonna get thrived up and I'll be fine. And we're gonna hit the trail. All right, camp's broken down. Back on the trail. Be another beautiful day of hiking. <laughs> Hit me. Tim and Josh are like kids. Snowball fight wait, here. Wait, well, let me record this. Are you recording, Devin? I'm recording. All right, <laughs> I gotta get this put. Here we go. All right. Until your trekking pole end comes flying. Yeah. Off. Oops. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Middle of July, got snow up here in the mountains. The guys are having a little winter fun. <laughs> Funny stuff. Fun to be a kid. Get back in. This is spectacular. <laughs> so check this out, guys. We're out here hiking along this ridge, and we're just surrounded by... Uh, mountains everywhere it's just beautiful out here we're uh, just taking it all in right now and this just kind of gives you an idea of 
the beauty of the world that we live in. It's a beautiful place. So this is what we are hiking around all day, just surrounded by beautiful mountains, beautiful lakes, awesome people to hike with. Today is a beautiful day. All right, it's lunchtime. I gotta say, it's one of the coolest spots I've ever ate lunch. This is uh, this is pretty amazing. Check this out. The mountains, got the lake down there, the basin, pretty cool. What do you think, Devin? I love it. It's amazing. I'd come here every single day and never get tired of it. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Incredible. So we made our descent down from where we were just eating lunch and the lake over there, that's called Lightning Lake. Another beautiful lake. Um, so right now we are uh, gonna try and push as far as we can today to get into camp. And we're gonna try and camp at the base of Rocky Sea Pass, the pass that we went over yesterday. We're gonna try and camp at the base of that so we can pass that first thing in the morning. All right, so we made it to camp. Long day, 11.2 miles. It's, uh don't really sound like a lot. Out east we do 15, 20 mile days. Push through them pretty quick. Out here, 11 miles is a lot. It's a tough day, but a good day. Today was uh, maybe the most scenic day I've ever had backpacking. It was awesome. But uh, everybody is cooking and we got our setups all done. So I'll uh, take you guys around. Here's Josh cooking. Tim, Will, and Devin, they're all cooking. I go no cook, so I'll be done eating here soon. No cooks, go home. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Devin and Josh, Subaru Josh that is, are bunking up together in the tarp tent. It'd just be lots of stuff to tear down in the morning. And it's supposed to get fairly cold tonight, so they'll be able to shack up and, shack up and be a little bit warmer. There's Will set up, and we got a hammock chair. I think that's Devin's. Yep. <laughs> nice thing to relax with. I'm set up over here. And you guys always know to deal with my setup. Dream hammock, UGQ tarp, X-Therm sleep pad, hammock gear, Burrow 30 top quilt. And Tim is set up over here. Morning, day four. Um, today we are going to be climbing over Rocky Sea Pass again, and we're coming over from the other side. And this side is uh, a lot steeper than the other side. A little bit more intimidating when you look at it from this side. But uh, I think the rest of the guys are still sleeping except for Will. Will's out exploring, taking some pictures of the sunrise. But uh, here soon, we're going to get packed up. I'm already thrived up. We'll all get some breakfast. And then we are going to head over Rocky Sea Pass. So here it is, guys. Right there. So that is the pass. We're going to kind of zigzag back and forth and then kind of loop through there to Rocky Sea Pass. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and let you guys know how it's going. Holy crap. Man, I smell like a big bucket of crap. Four days out here on the trail, have anybody smelling pretty bad. We still got another day to go. Whew. <laughs> I'm all tore down. I was over there. Nothing left. Tim's packing up. He's just about done. We got... Josh and Devin over here, they got the tarp tent tore down, put away. Devin's packing up. Don't mind my uh, pack explosion. Yep, the pack explosion. Everybody has that. Organized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Organized chaos. And Will is over here, he's starting to pack up, tearing down his setup. So, won't be long, 
and we will be on the trail. About ready to start to climb up. Feeling pretty good this morning. Got a lot of sleep. Josh, how you feeling? I feel pretty good. Tim, feeling good? Good altitude, but good. All right. So, don't know how much I'm gonna film going up the pass, just because it's kind of right on the edge and it's loose rock. So I probably won't film much going up. But I'll talk to you guys when I get up there. In our way up, started way down there by the lakes. Coming up, this this side over here, it's not gradual. It's just uh, kind of go up right now. Here's Tim and Josh making their slog up. Getting there. Still got a little ways to go. So a little tip I can give you guys you ever doing a big pass like this, 10, 11, 12, 14,000 feet, whatever it may be, when you're making your trek up, and if the trail runs right along the edge of the cliff, just look at the trail. Don't start looking around too much, because if you start looking down, I ain't gonna lie, it's a little bit intimidating, especially for me, a flatlander from Ohio. So stay focused on the trail, and uh, try not to Look down too much. Just about there. Here comes Woo! the rest of the gang. Woo! Rocky Sea Pass. Oh, come on, Tim. Number two. Woo! Woo! There we go. Tim's running. Way easier coming up on that side than it was on this side. <laughs> Anybody want to do a victory dance? Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Josh. Good work, gentlemen. <laughs> Made our way back down the pass. We're here at uh, Pigeon Milk, right? Yep. Pigeon Milk. <laughs> Strange name. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to fill her some water here. Just take a little break. Everybody's gonna get snacked up. <laughs> Just kind of hang out for a little bit. How's everybody feeling? Good. good. Awesome. Really good. Awesome. Sitting down there below 11,000 feet. Sweet. Back out on the trail, and it's raining. It's gonna be uh, kind of a short day hiking. We only got about two and a half more miles to camp, so we're probably gonna roll into camp right around lunchtime, and. Uh, just kind of chill out and see what happens if it's raining. Probably just all get in the tents and hammocks. If not, maybe we'll have a fire or whatever. I don't know. Just have to uh, see what happens. But probably not going to do too much filming, if any at all, until we get to camp. All right, made it to camp. Day four, all set up already super early it's like two o'clock in the afternoon it's the earliest i've ever been to camp leaves uh, extra time for extra activities so uh, tonight's just going to be a nice relaxing night probably all gonna get a fire going and uh, just kind of enjoy everybody's time and then we hike out in the morning but i'm going to walk around the camp here and show you guys all the camp all set up in porch mode with the hammock and then will's Kind of a cross over here. Looks like Will's all set up as well. And then Tim, Josh, and Devin are back this way. I think uh, Tim and Josh are going to share the tarp tent tonight for a quick tear down in the morning for the hike out. And then Tim's got his mini fly set up just in case it rains and we need a place to cook and eat and all that kind of good stuff. And then Devin is kind of back here by himself as well. So 
There's Devin. He hey. looks like he's about all set up. And Devin also has this uh, sweet hammock chair set up. I just sat in it and it's quite comfortable. Yeah, that's nice. So, yeah, that's, that's a nice thing to have around camp. Okay, so, uh, Will and myself have decided to go out and explore a little bit since we got to camp super early. And I think we're gonna head up to Natural Space in, right, Will? We're gonna go explore around up there for a little bit and then uh, hopefully head back right around dinner time tonight. So probably five, six o'clock back at camp and then settle in for the night and then we'll get ready to make our hike out in the morning. But for now, we're just kind of bushwhacking through and we're gonna go explore for a while. Soaking the feet in cold mountain water. Feels great. It's our last night here in Utah. It's been amazing. And uh, tomorrow morning we hike out. I'm not going to film anything because we're just going to be pretty much hiking through the woods and hiking back to the car. But this trip's been absolutely amazing. Um, everybody here has been awesome. So I'm going to go around and... Uh, Ask all the guys kind of what they thought about the trip. Tim, what'd you think of the trip? Fantastic, phenomenal. My favorite part was the the stretch where we had those kind of 360 views of the basin. It was just incredible. I think it, it rivals kind of anything anywhere. So I really enjoyed it. Thanks yep. guys for, for putting up with us. <laughs> Josh good. Ebersol, what'd you think? What was your favorite part? Uh, well, I think the trip was awesome. I mean, this is the longest trip I've ever been on uh, day wise um, but we covered like quite a bit of miles um, but I mean the miles were super super scenic my favorite part was probably um, yesterday's hike around the basin yeah. and camp last night camp last night was yeah. gorgeous and waking up this morning I could look out the back of the tent and just see the sunrise coming up over the mountains it was it was awesome it was a great trip that's awesome also uh, very proud of you for uh, pushing through your injury yeah Thank that you. was yeah yep way to persevere so, cool. still got five yeah. more miles to uh, re-injure. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, ni nice shorts, by the way. Oh, thank you, the Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Devin. So you live out here. What was your favorite part about this trip? Honestly, sharing it with you guys, because like I think it's really easy for people like Will and I that are locals and spend a lot of time here to kind of take it, take advantage of it. Not that we do, but uh, to be able to like be in Rock Creek Basin yesterday and share that, like this area that really means a lot to me with people that I now really care about is really, really awesome. All right, yes, and we thank you and Will both for mm -hmm. kind of showing us around and mm -hmm. putting this yeah. trip together. It's been a pleasure. We it's really awesome. appreciate that. It's been great. So also, Devin, you... Uh, run a company called Kiva Outdoors, right? I do. Would you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so me and my best friend Jared, we started Kiva a few months ago, and so we're a startup outdoor company that's doing storage bags and some other like really basic things right now, but we've got some cool plans for some neat products to, to come about. So yeah, kivaoutdoors.com, and yeah, pretty much everybody here Except for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Has, uh, has a few bags, and they seem to really like them. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, guys, make sure you check out Kiva Outdoors. Really cool stuff. All right, Will, what about you? Um, yeah, I'll just uh, echo what Devin said. It's always fun to, I mean, it's always special to um, share places that, you know, we're familiar with as locals, but see the smiles and excitement, you know, it puts on guys that, 
that aren't familiar with this kind of area. And, yep. um, but uh, beyond that, uh, I just want to say like yesterday, just from top to bottom, uh, was right up there um, among the best backcountry days I've ever had from the camadri uh, with you guys, the group here, and uh, just the scenery. Uh, and then I'd say I'm also a um, uh, naturalist basin this morning, um, or not this morning, this afternoon, <laughs> um, was just spectacular as well. And so i um, seen a lot of places where I'd love to, I mean, even though I've been to most of the areas that we've been through before, most on most stretches of the trails that we've been doing, um, you know, I still see places where I'd love to come back and camp and, uh, you know, bring my wife back and the kids back when they're older or, or you know, other friends. And so, um, but in closing, I just want to thank Tim for uh, reaching out and actually making this serious. And, uh, you know, it's been a blast yeah. uh, meeting yeah. you guys in person and and just, uh, just, just an un unbelievably awesome trip. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, ever get a chance, come out here to Utah into the uh, Uinta Mountain Range. It's beautiful. <laughs>